The following review is going to be on the new Buzzworthy Bumblebee set, Bumblebee and Spike Whitwood Key. Stay tuned. Rodimus Bill here, and today we're going to do the Buzzworthy Bumblebee Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Bumblebee and Spike Witwicky set. First we'll take a look at the package, it's Transformers Generations, the Transformers War for Cybertron logo, and this is the Hasbro Buzzworthy Bumblebee line, and it's Bumblebee and Spike Witwicky. There's Bumblebee in a new legend size mold and spike. That side's got nothing, turn over. Uh, War for Cybertron, Bumblebee, Spike, Witwicky, Bumblebee is 11 steps, Spike's one step, and that is it. And now let's open this guy up and see what we've got. Alright, now that we have Bumblebee and Spike out of the box, we'll put that back there. First we'll take a look at the directions, or instruction booklet. These are a nice orangish, yellowish, and they tell you how to transform Bumblebee in 11 steps he's got weapon placement and how to do spike in one step and first we'll take a look at spike kind of wish they didn't have the uh, <clears throat> the whole face plate is all um, you can't see through it though but you can see some uh, you got some yellowish right there you can see the little hands um, you can see the feet. It's reminiscent of the movie. Obviously, if you look at that right there, <clears throat> it's very reminiscent of the Transformers the movie and back in 86. And then he's got the backpack. And um, all you do is really flip this out and I guess he becomes a car. I mean, if that is what he does. But that's it for Spike or Daniel, but this is Spike. And then a transform him back. <clears throat> We're done. Take a look at Bumblebee's weapon. He's got a cool little black blaster. I mean, really not much not much to look at. <clears throat> and now for the bee himself. And here is Bumblebee. He's got definitely G1 accurate face. I wonder if I can just move this up and bend these down. And this guy is so small though. He definitely has a uh, G1 face. He's got the bumblebee symbol. Uh, he's not quite a Volkswagen bug. I don't know why sometimes they have the license and sometimes they don't. But you can see uh, he's got the windshield there, the two side driver windshield, he's got the black legs, he's got black and silver for the headlight, he's got a wheel on the arm and a wheel over here. These are kind of, I don't know, they don't show them on the picture, but I don't see why they could have done something with these. And there is the back um, articulation, Let's see the head. You can only move side to side. You can't move it all the way. The arms do a 360. <clears throat> he's got elbow bend. He's got, it's on a ball joint, so you got all the rotation you need. You get the elbow swivel. Uh, same thing with this hand. Nothing at the waist. He can kick up more than 90. He can kick back 90. And uh, he's got more than 90 on the knee. And then this flop folds in. So he's got pretty good movement. <clears throat> and then you can put his little gun in his little hand. Now this is part of the Buzzworthy <clears throat> Bumblebee Spike Witwit Key. Uh, War for Cybertron Trilogy. <clears throat> Doesn't have anything else. It's just the Buzzworthy Bumblebee line. Now, for some size comparison, when you look at Bumblebee, <clears throat> first we're going to bring in G1. Now this is, um, obviously he's a very broken up G1, but that's what Bumblebee looked like uh, size-wise. <clears throat> and then he became Goldbug, 
So there's my throttle bot with Bumblebee. <clears throat> Here is a Titans Return Legend size. So he's a tad smaller than Legend size. He's his own little size. And then this is my dollar store Bumblebee. This is my world's smallest Bumblebee. And this is from the grocery store. Um, oh, what is that called? I have a review on what these guys are, but these are little candy. Oh, Hershey Kisses Treasures. So Hershey Kisses Treasures, World's Smallest Bumblebee, Dollar Tree Bumblebee, and the new Bumblebee. And actually, they do it. They're the same size as Spike. So, and then this is the small deluxe Studio Series Jeep Bumblebee. He's one of the small deluxes. So I'd I'd figure I'd throw them in there to show you what they look like. And that is this Bumblebee. Now to transform this guy. <clears throat> Take out the gun. He does have storage. We're gonna do this all in one shot. All right, first thing the instructions tell you to do is his head fits right in there, his chin. Then you want to take this back and hold the back up, and this piece you want to bring flat. <clears throat> then you put the legs together right down here, pop them together, and then this whole piece will accordion and see how this has got a joint right there and then you bring that up and so and this fits right under it actually clips in right there see that and then these are the hardest parts what you want to do is straighten the arms out now see this little thing what you're gonna do is you're gonna now I can't oh, okay Somehow you gotta lift it up and it'll fold all the way up like that. See how that yellow piece right in the back? See how it folds up? And then you wanna take this and you wanna slide that in there. And that is what you got. It's these little pieces. See how this one is flat? So what you gotta do is you when you fold it up, whoops, yeah, and they do pop off a lot. Let's try it again. Let's pop this in. Come on. There you go. Now this little piece, see how it's moving up? You just want to get the black on top like that. And let's see, how would I do that? There you go. Oh. All right. Found the easiest thing is lift it up. There you go. And it'll go in. It's just all this. Watch this little piece right here. How you twist it. And it'll go up like that. And then you can get the door on. See how these clip in right there. Clip all that. And then you bring these down. And they just clip right behind here. That one's clipped in. This one clips in right behind it. And there you go. And everything's clipped in good. Backs clipped together. And that is the Bumblebee. Not a Volkswagen. <clears throat> I don't know if they were able to get the rights for it. But see these right there these ball socket joints you just got to move them up and in and they go in once you figure out the how to do it it slides right in and he slides pretty good <clears throat> now unfortunately you got the front chrome back black front chrome back black and then there's this little um, peg right there a little hole so what you want to do is stick this in there and it's pretty flush and now you have bumblebee and you have spike Ooh, there they go now let's see how this bumblebee in vehicle mode compares to all the others and here is g1 bumblebee like that 
Very nice. And then Gold Bug. Uh, he's um. He's not really a goal of Volkswagen, but you see him. And here is the Legend size. So he's smaller than Legend, but um, bigger than a mini bot. And we'll bring in our deluxe Bumblebee from the movie as a Jeep. So that's how he compares with a smaller deluxe. And since I had these guys and I forgot to show you these, this is a Minibot Power Glide. And this is the new, that is the new uh, updated legend size Power Glide. And you got the Minibot Power Glide. So he's, uh, he's, he's taller than a Minibot, but less than a legend figure. That's what he is. And transform this guy back. <coughs> You wanna let's <clears throat> uh, let's see. Let you wanna move these guys up first. You just gotta grab them. Unpeg these. There you go. Whew. There. Once you unpeg these two, then you could up oh, take the gun out. Then you could take the arms and just spread the arms out like that. Pull this down. Separate like that. Separate these guys. And then this will fold down. And then this whole area collapses. See how it all folds up like that. And it folds up pretty good. Whole back just folds up into them. And then you could straighten the arms, however you want them. He does have a lot of kibble on his arms, which I don't like. But there is Bumblebee. Now, before, like when I wanted to do comparison with a old mini bot, these are what the old mini bots look like. So there's Power Glide. And here is Outback. So he's definitely mini bot size. I didn't show these in, in. And there he is. So there you have the new Bumblebee with the original mini bot. So he sizes right. He sizes just right in there with the mini bots, the old ones. But if you look at like the new. Uh, Outback and the new Bumblebee legend size. He actually takes a lot of steps from this guy. So that is how to size him. So he's he's the size of an old mini bot, but he's qu not quite the size of a current legend figure. And that is it for Buzzworthy Bumblebee and Spike. I just picked this guy up. So he's $15, so he's $5 more than a, like the old two-pack Battle Masters or the Legend size. So this was 15 bucks, but I figured, what the heck, I've, I've never had them. I'm so glad I got a little Spike figure. And they're good together. Bone B and Spike, back together once again. All right, and that is Buzzworthy Bumblebee, Bumblebee Spike Set. Please like and subscribe. There's a link to buy this guy down below. Feel free to click on it, either from um, Amazon, Entertainment Earth, or something like that. Uh, like, subscribe to my channel. We do Transformers. We do DC, Marvel. We do new toy sightings. All that good stuff. Just turn on notifications, and you'll see me do new videos every couple days. All right. As Bumblebee once said, I don't know what Bumblebee, oh, I'm more than just a bug, I'm a gold bug. Well, that's gold bug, so, oh well. This is Bumblebee saying, see ya. Back again with Spike.